When I first started telling jokes, I made $25 a night. The first year in comedy, I made $3,000. Second year, I made $5,500. The third year, I made about $7,200. I became homeless. You make three, five, and seven, 12, 13, 4, $15,000 in three years. That's how you get homeless. That's why that lady was out here, Miss Deborah, tough feeding homeless people, because I was one of them. I lived in a car for three years because I wasn't making enough money. But guess what? I kept telling them $25 jokes till they started paying me $250 a night. And I kept telling them $250 jokes till they started making me, started paying me $25,000 a night. I kept telling them $25,000 jokes till they started paying me $75,000 a night. Then I told them jokes for $75,000, then they started paying me $100 a quarter a night. Then I kept telling them, they done paid me a half million dollars for these <laughs> jokes. Without the kings of comedy, we made $58 million in one year. You know what we did? We told jokes. Them the same $25 jokes. They ain't nothing but English. <laughs> ain't wasn't like I was doing them in Spanish and no like that. I was doing the same funk jokes for $25. I just kept repetition, repetition, over and over and over. I turned them jokes into an empire. I turned them jokes into a lifestyle beyond my wildest dreams. I turned them jokes into funds. My grandkids ain't got to worry about nothing. I done put up so much with them $25 jokes. You, you are sitting on an empire. You are worth millions. That's how you become a millionaire. You don't try to think of a million. You just do this $10 thing you got over and over and over. You're sitting on money, man. That's how you get rich. Quit trying to figure out how to make a million. Take something, a $10 idea, and just do it and do it and keep praying about it. Keep asking God to show you the next level. Keep asking God for strength when it looked like you ain't going to make it. When I was homeless, it looked like I wasn't going to make it. But I kept praying about it. Kept asking God to come get me. I kept leaning on my mama. Man, she said, he didn't bring you this far to leave you. I kept hearing her say that. You know, I could have gave up a long time ago, but I, did, I never gave up. I just kept fighting. God is going to come through and do what he say he going to do, but you got to give him something to work with. If you do that, God will change your whole life. If you, I dare you to try it. I dare you to take your gift and do it over and over and over. Watch what he do. The Bible says your gift will make room for you and put you in the presence of great men. Don't say nothing about your passion or your education. Your gift, if you do that, God will change your life. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>